You've made a wise decision, gentlemen. Be it poison of the soul or the soil, trust that Palakana's fires will purify. Let it cleanse your sins and your refuse. You are all now members of my family. In due time, the leaders of your country will unveil a new energy initiative. Finally, your great nuclear reactors will come to life again, enriching us all. Truly, those fortunate enough to be gathered here will be made prosperous, will be made fat with wealth. We are in your debt, my generous sage. On behalf of all citizens of Japan, thank you for cleansing our nation. I've spoken to the minister. We're clear to begin reopening the power plants. My humblest gratitude. If I may be so bold, you are a ray of silver light that has shone upon our burdened economy. In so many words, a savior. Let us not forget our silent partner, Ebinasan. We owe this day to you as well. You deserve far more glory than we can offer. Indeed. You've done a great deal for us, Ebinasan. You honor me, Chairman. Once my organization is restructured, I look forward to sharing the public eye with you. Till then, I graciously accept your guidance, now and in the future. Apologies, gentlemen. I fear our time is up. I'm overdue for a ritual with my flock. Farewell. Good news, Overseer. What is it? And am I supposed to be impressed by this? Uh... Had you settled this earlier, I wouldn't have relied on Ebina's help. If ever there comes a day when he uses this against us, it'll be your last, Dwight. There won't, I swear. You have all been chosen. Father Bryce has granted you the right of fire. Now, forsake yourself to the flames and save these lowly sinners. Keep going! Their impurities have not been fully purged. They are to be unspoiled, nothing less. made me very proud, my children of Palikana. Even if the world were to collapse into darkness, I'm confident your flames would light the way. Still awake? You're no good to her exhausted, you know. <laughs> Lonnie! I'm so sorry, Akane-san. It's all my fault. <sighs> Fucking hell. What a sorry sight. Hey! 
I don't particularly give a shit if you run out the clock bawling like a child, but remember one thing. Kazuma Kiryu's still out there, and you've let that man down too many times already. He saw something in you. <laughs> Somehow. <gasps> now get up. You're right. It's time to go. Start moving, then. You've wasted enough time. Yeah. Thank you. Ah. Shit. Hey. No. Hey, Adachi-san. Is Chichan around? Hmm? <laughs> she was here a while ago. Shit. You don't think. Could she have bailed on us? Seriously? Why would she do that now? This whole time, Age has been using her to play us like suckers. Maybe she figured, now that the truth's out, we'd take revenge. But chi tried to warn us, didn't she? When Polycana was on their way, she came clean. She has to know she's still one of us. Well, think of it this way. If chi had given A.G. up just a few minutes earlier, Lonnie might still be here. Anawa-san and Wong might still be alive. <sighs> I'm sorry, Kasuga, but Tomi's got a point there. 
Ah, you too, Adachi-san. She must have had a good reason. Chichan wouldn't cut and run. I'm sure she's still around here somewhere. Chichan? Damn it, there's no answer. Chitose, her name was? I just got a report in. She took off on her own a while ago. Chichan? Matter of fact, she swiped one of our pistols on the way out. Huh? That takes skill. My men know how to keep them under lock and key. Yamai, when did Chichan leave? Do you know? We clocked the piece missing just now. Girl must have left half an hour ago at least. I mean, what would she want a gun for? Would she be going after Lani on her own? Huh. No way in hell. That's not what my gut's saying. She's going after them. A.G. and Palakana. She must know where they are. We can't let her! Chichan will get herself killed! Let's move, now! Hey, 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 wait! Hold on a minute. Chichan may know where she's going, but we don't. Hell you want. Your face needs a pink battle's on. Let's get it done. Let's see what you got. Your best shot. <laughs> uh, whoa. <laughs> Looks like I'm up. <laughs> How about some of this? Where is everybody? I'm up! Let's go! Come here! What, you getting scared? You see a damn thing. Gotta hold it together. Alright! Something got stolen. Here I come.
What's up, Chitose-san? Oh, Mr. Kasuga, I just wanted to take this opportunity to thank you for your patronage. Allow me to reintroduce myself. I'm Chitose Buster Holmes from Poundmates, Honolulu. Right, yeah. You guys are always a big help. Anyway, you said you had something for me? Correct. We're running a special promotion. We hope you'll accept this. Wow, thanks. Palmates really goes above and beyond, huh? Let's keep taking on the world together, Chitose-san. <laughs> anyway, see you around. To take on the world? With me? Wow. Sup? Oh! Hmm. Oh. Sup. Oh. Hmm. Wow. Sup? Oh! Yeah. Aloha. Thanks very much. Don't you even dare. Uh, aloha again, Auntie. Lonnie's been kidnapped. Akane-san could have been killed? Guess word travels fast, huh? <sighs> what a fool I was, trusting a bunch of blundering punks. I leave them in your care and it all goes to pot? Lord, help me! Uh, come on, it's not like that. Uh, wait, let us try to make things right. Chitose. Do you remember her? Has she been by here? <laughs> Why? She finally get fed up with you, dimwits? <sighs> Actually, I think I did see her go by a little while ago. Please say you know where she was headed. What? Do I look like a mind reader? I've no clue. And plenty of times passed since. Uh, yeah, I get it.
Tosei's going after Eiji. Not much we can be sure of, either for payback or to rescue Lani. Either way, wherever he is, she'll be. What's that mean for us? It means if we find Eiji, we're bound to run into Chitose, too. No oh, shit. Well, we don't have any leads on him, either. Well, it's still another way to go. It's something. What do you think, Kasuga? The Daidoji safe house, maybe? Eichan. He was there the whole time. Keeping tabs on our every move. Maybe he left something we could use. Well, stands to reason. All right, let's give it a shot. The only thing, Lisa are probably still working the scene. We'll just, you know, keep our distance. Yeah. And I'll, I'll be the one to say it. Chichan made this group feel a lot less skeezy. Am I wrong here? You're not, no. But, uh... It's worse when you call attention to it. We were right to bolt from here when we did. The police sure moved fast on this one. You know, I'd say they've already carried out the bodies. Either way, we're not getting any closer. Ichiban, if they catch wind of you, it's over. No passport, and now no Kiryu-san or Daidoji faction to back you? Really? Are you quite sure of that? <gasps> you guys! Whoa, whoa, who's this? You know him? Perhaps you don't remember us. We served Hanawise as elite aides. During the attack, we were procuring Akane-san's plane. We had no idea what was coming. We're aware of what happened thanks to the safe house's surveillance camera. Eiji Mitomura was a Polycana operative, it seems. Uh, this seems so. Um, about Hanawa-san and everything. You needn't say anything. His death wasn't your fault, Kasuga-san. Mitamura played his hand well and outwitted us all. We knew that Hawaii would be unfamiliar territory, yet we came short-staffed. Our focus on Polycana left us vulnerable to certain flanks. This was a miscalculation on the part of our superiors. We'll report it as such. Well, jeez. We are fully aware that, if not for you, Akane-san would still be missing or dead. Hanawa died believing in our organization and this mission. If you say so. But it's not that easy for me to believe I wasn't partly responsible. Hope you get that. That's why I'm still involved here. Believe me, we know your psych profile. We'd like to offer you our assistance. What's that mean? Let's find a better place to speak. Eiji Mitamura is in our sights now. We've much more intelligence than before. I'd like to share our findings with your party. It should prove useful. Well, what do you have in mind? Perhaps Kiryu-san's old hotel room would serve? I trust you remember it? Our group will head there first. We shouldn't be seen traveling together. Ah, uh, they're pretty polite for a bunch of lizard people. Anawa must have raised them right. Okay, we should go. This is it. That came out well. Hello.
We've been waiting for you. Come in. I'm curious. When Kiryu-san got here, were you the ones who booked the room? Yes, we arranged it. We were aware of Kiryu-san's condition, but once again underestimated the dangers he would face. Initially, Akane-san's procurement was our sole and simple objective. Yeah, but in that case, your mission would be accomplished by now. Akane-san's at Yamai's place as we speak. You could just grab her. Indeed. Why don't you have a seat? This may take some time to explain. To put it briefly, Daidoji's plans now extend beyond Akane-san herself. Polykana's actions have illuminated certain aspects of the mission which were otherwise obscured. That is, Akane-san's charge, the girl Lani, is Polykana's true target. So Daidoji faction, Yamai's gang, it's all the same story. Excuse me? Yamai was chasing Akane-san without any idea why, just like you. All over Hawaii, people were hunting Akane-san just because they knew someone else was too. Everyone, desperate for a little more pull underground or a one-up on their enemies. I understand. From your perspective, we may seem all too similar. Except we have always known why Akane-san was sought after by Palekana. It was no mere spurious chase. What's it all about then? This information is not to be uttered outside of this room. Polykana has negotiated a backroom deal with our government. <laughs> oh, have they now? And so, you can do better than that. Nuclear power is returning, and as for radioactive waste involved, Polykana has offered to dispose of it. What? We've been told Nele Island, their nerve center, possesses the facilities to see it buried. Polykana was able to coordinate this arrangement thanks to one man, Ebina, of the Seriu clan. Ebina? Seriously? Waste is the ultimate quandary for any nuclear society. Reactors can pose more harm than good because of it. Considering that, Ebina and Polykana represented a true godsend. The men at the top couldn't be happier, of course. They could restart the generators, construct new plants, even export them to smaller nations for massive profit. However, the Daidoji faction knows when something is too good to be true. We are certain there's some sort of pitfall lying in wait here. Uh, okay, a, pit a pitfall? Wh what do you mean? We're not sure. The only people who would know for certain are the ones who offered the deal. To understand Polycon's true intentions, superficial negotiations will not suffice. We have to dissect them. And the only way to manage that is with the proper bait. So they're just bait to you? Akane-san and Lani? Yes. The Daidoji faction has seen fit to share that with us under the circumstances. Hanawa's death was unusually blindsiding. So give it to us straight. You're Daidoji guys. You're like actual evil masterminds. We are a shadow power in Japan. That said, the shadows aren't what they once were. So why come to Hawaii and play proxy war with Palikana? It can't just be as simple as stopping a bad deal. You misunderstand us entirely. Our interests lie solely in the prosperity of Japan. We simply place our focus on long-term planning rather than short-term profit. Palikana's waste disposal is unlikely as secure as they claim nor worth what they'd siphon from our taxes. When the future comes, what sort of country will our children inherit? That's the question every patriot must answer honestly. Huh. Spoken like a true man in black. I've got a question. Assuming we get Lani back, what would be your next move? Just as before, we would escort her out of Palikana's reach. We still have our aircraft prepared. Okay. In that case, let's say that right now, our goals are the same. Keeping Akane-san and Lani from Polykana's hands. Certainly. Only one impediment. The man who betrayed us for the enemy. Yeah. Hey, John. You said before, you found out more about him? Eiji Mitamura. 
Surprisingly, that's actually his real name. Started out as a political reporter for the Toto Post. Aichon worked at a paper? Indeed. Until his abrupt termination five years ago. After he was found guilty for vehicular assault. Some kind of hit and run? Seemingly. However, Mitamura insisted he was framed by Yakuza in his testimony. He specifically named the Arakawa family, saying they were colluding with the police commissioner. What? Apparently, he'd been on their case for some time, picking up evidence of corruption. Mitamura was good enough at his job to be considered a threat. And so, he had to be silenced. So, after another long, exhausting day on the beat, our reporter was driving home when... Suddenly, a pedestrian steps in front of his car. A.G. says it was the Arakawa family setting him up. No real proof, of course. Then the car's EDR footage was examined in court. The victim was moving erratically. Even so, there's still nothing conclusive there. And when the victim denied any connection to Arakawa, it was the final nail. Fortunately, with only minor injuries sustained, it was ruled a fairly slight driver's error. He got off with a fine of a few hundred thousand yen. However, his public reputation was another matter. Supposing the Arakawas really were behind the accident. Regardless of the verdict, they got what they were after the moment it happened. He said Eiji had no proof. Why do I feel like you know there's more to it? Even if the Arakawa family planned the incident, Masumi Arakawa's involvement is doubtful at best. No single reporter, however much noise they're making, would draw the patriarch's attention. That said, Joe Sawashiro is another matter entirely. We would have to admit, this seems quite like his handiwork. Well, if it's really true, then Eiji and I have way more in common than I'd have thought. Mafia, Yakuza, whatever. We both had our lives fucked by these people. <clears throat> All right, so where does Eiji go from there? After being let go from the post, he decided to take up a new cause. A non-profit organization, Leech Japan. Hey, Sean? No way. He threw in with those bastards? The Arakawa family had cost him everything. Yakuza abolitionists like Leech Japan must have seemed quite noble. Hardly difficult to see why he turned to them. <clears throat> Mitamura flourished within their network. Ryo Aoki quickly took notice of him, gave him leadership over the entire Tokyo metropolis. Hmm. Wasn't Kume the head of the Yokohama branch? That's some trick of fate, huh, Kasuga? Yeah. One thing, though. So if Eichan hates Yakuza as much as he seems to, why would he work with Ebina? Does he actually buy into the whole second dissolution story? That's about the only reason that makes sense, given what we're hearing. The guy's so desperate for payback on the Yakuza. He'll up another Yakuza take them down. Hold on. You really think so? Eiji's a true believer in the dissolution. Okay, maybe. But the things he's done? Helping the Mafia kidnap a little girl? I can't imagine crossing those lines for revenge. Well, maybe you're less alike than you think. Eichon will just have to give us answers himself. All right, on. So what's next? Ebi now recruits A.G., who takes Chitose's channel over? Uh, once a reporter, always a reporter? Or a gossipy VTuber, in this case. And now, the channel's practically Ebina's mouthpiece. Mitamura is likewise Ebina's proxy in Hawaii. Polycon's support strengthens him considerably. Lonnie is the key here. Without her, we fail. Kiryu-san's legacy, Anima's sacrifice, all will amount to nothing. Yeah, no shit, but we're still dead in the water over here. Oh, Shichan sent me a text! Whoa, what'd she say? It's just a picture. Looks like some kind of bar? She just took it. Think Chichan wants us to meet her there? Could that be where Eiji's hold up? Tell me, any chance you know this place? Please say you do! Oh yeah, don't worry, I got this. Shit, yeah! Kasuga-san, do you believe Lonnie's there as well? 
Better get there fast. Find out. Thanks, guys! Anawa-san, I hope your faith in them proves wise. Ichiban. Hold on. Aloha! Seriously? <laughs> this is on the house. So, so beautiful. He's amazing. Let's enjoy ourselves. So, so beautiful. See you next time. <laughs> Come see me again. Thank you very much. Aloha! Is she? <laughs> this is on the house. So beautiful. He's so a Let's enjoy ourselves. So She's incredible. See you next time. <laughs> Come see me again. Thank you very much.
a little something from me. That's for me? Always hated pickles as a kid. Look at me now, chilling in Hawaii, snacking on pickles and vodka. Life really passes you by. Yeah, soon enough you'll be in an old folks home. That's not my point here. It's just an emotional experience, okay? Not sure how pickles make a guy emotional, but I think I get it. To a kid, posting up at the bar in a foreign country must be like something out of a movie. Yeah, exactly. If I could send a message to Kid Costco like, yo, I'm drinking at a bar in Hawaii, I doubt he'd believe it. And yet here I am, doing just that, with a good buddy to boot. His life's full of surprises, too. Good buddy. Yeah, life is full of surprises. Never would have guessed I'd wind up at some bar with a middle-aged ex-Yakuza for company. <laughs> Lay off with that shit, man. What I'm trying to say is, anything can happen. Hell, we might end up going to space together one day. <laughs> it could happen. Not long ago, my life was in total darkness. All I could do was stumble around like an idiot. But after meeting you, I feel I can finally take a few steps forward. You're a cool-ass guy, Ichiban. Yeah? <laughs> then I hope we stay buds for a long-ass time. Now, where's your glass? Ha <laughs> ha! Cheers! That Yo, is great. Stop. Got a good one. Hey. Hmm. Guess I'll skip the gym. The battle is on. Oh, damn it, there's no way. Wind 
be proud. One, two men. Me. Hey, you there! Right here, Ichiban. Club Guilty. Supposedly, it's one of the most exorbitant clubs in Hawaii. And seedy as hell. I wonder what's going down. Chichon's calling. Can you hear us? It's me. You okay, Chichon? I was searching for AG. It was the only way I could think to make amends to you all. You don't owe us amends. We can do this together. Just... Please, listen to me. AG is inside. In Club Guilty, all the way in the back. A VIP table. He's drinking, laughing. Polycana everywhere. Okay, gotcha. Chichan, are you inside? Yeah. We're on our way. Let's do this as a team. Aichan's ours. We'll get Lonnie back too. There's no time. And what are you saying? We're not on the same team. I betrayed you. AG manipulated you with my help. If you come after me, I might have to kill you too. Will you remember what I said to you back in District 5? <sighs> Chichan, nothing's changed since then. I made the decision to trust you. That was my choice. No regrets. Believe me, everything's gonna be okay. Never doubt this man's heart, girl. Hang in there, Chichan. Tell her I said we're coming. For God's sake, tell me. I'm speaker. Huh. Okay. See you inside. Okay. What you looking at? You pointing fingers at me? Let's do it! Let's get it done! Pretty good. Damn, Pete. I like it. Damn, Pete. It works. It, wor it works. Hey, it's Kasuga. What the hell are you doing here? I think a friend of mine has a table inside. You mind? I'll just squeeze through. <laughs> the balls on this guy. Hey, fellas! Looks like we got ourselves a new punching bag. Hold on, Chichan. Almost there. I'm gonna put you in your plate. Come on! Ass kicking time. Don't work out. Screw you. Ah, you're all talk. Do your work. You ain't shit. Break yourself! Okay, cop. Alright. You're in now. Gotcha now. Go get some! Quit throwing around! Die around! I'm up! Let's go! Let's get it done! Give it a rest, huh? Another one in the back! Look at me go! Now! Inside!
enjoyable as ever. Hey, Kasuga-san! Come on over! show go ahead and enjoy yourself I'll be right up ready Stand. nobody's gonna save you now Come on. let's get it done hey. All right. Hey. 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 open water to go <laughs> <laughs> Who knew I had it in me? <laughs> oh, that's fine work. Kasuga-san, look! Standing ovation. <laughs> He's not with you? Where did you take her? Oh, my bad. I am so sorry, but... Girl's already dead. Huh? What'd you say? This is shit! No more fucking around! Oh... If it's any consolation to you boys, we disposed of her ages ago, so don't blame yourselves, okay? You'd have never made it here in time. Came all this way for nothing. Sucks, doesn't it? But, hey, you guys got to party at a trendy club, at least. <laughs> Night wasn't a total loss, right? Right? Oh, and, uh... <laughs> Kasuga-san? You have to pay for the property damages. Sorry. See, this place has standards, after all. <laughs> huh? Oh, took you long enough. Lani's still alive, isn't she? Chito say. Shichan. I listened in on you saying that Bryce is expecting her. You were so good at spying on people. Never thought it'd be your turn. Where is she? <laughs> Bottom of the sea, probably. You really think I won't shoot you? <clears throat> fine, fine. You win. Just calm down for a second. <sighs> One question. How did you know I'd be here right now? I snuck a GPS transmitter into your back. Planted it at the Daidoji safe house, actually. <laughs> Can't believe I missed that. Oh, Kasuga-san, you see this? This woman we're dealing with? Treachery! Just flows in her veins. The girl's a fucking genius at it. See, that's why I used her. Her channel made that clear from the start. I answered your question! Now talk. Tell me what I want to know. Where is Lani? <laughs> right away. <gasps> Lani! Chito, behind you! <laughs> Still, I'll stop the bleeding. What were you thinking, Chi-Chan? Leave me and get Lani! Just save your breath, would you? Honestly, you'd shoot a man in cold blood? You know, your parents would be mortified by your behavior. Don't you regret being such a disappointment? 
to Tara. Fuck you! That's garbage! Her parents would be proud! Anyone would with a daughter like her! Lani owes you her life. Great job, Chi-Chan. Hey, Chi-Ban. Now. Lani's coming with us. You're damn right. I can't bear to see her like that. We'll save her. Let me fight, too. I know I have no right to ask, but I'm begging you. Let me fight. <laughs> For sure. Good with you? <laughs> like she'd even listen to me if it wasn't. Let's make this quick. One of our team needs first aid. Now. Yeah. That's right. Let's go! I'm gonna school! Now you're going down. Okay.